Hi, good afternoon guys. It's me again, Nelson from Elec Design Works. And uh, today, I will be demonstrating how to use the Bill Validator, the Apex 5400 Bill Validator with your Arduino. So, this is your Bill Validator. So, there are things that we need. So, one is your supply. This is a 12 volt supply. We also need an optocoupler. This is a PC817 optocoupler. Actually, you can also use... Um, voltage divider pero this is safer kasi this actually this device actually separates your 12 volt supply from your Arduino supply which is 5 volts so we also need an Arduino and uh, dito sa side I've laid out the pin configuration of the build validator so as you can see I've labeled the pins as 1 to 18 but uh, you can view this uh, connection here, no? As you can see, it's also labeled here. Then sa pin connection sa side, sa left side ng bill validator, there's also a connection, a pin description there, 1, 2, 18. So, finalo ko lang yan dito sa description na to. So, there are actually three pins na importante dito uh, to be able to interface your Arduino to your bill validator. So, one is yung pin 1 which is the open collector output to up to LED for to to connection to the PC817 we also have this pin 11 which is the 12 volts positive 12 volts para sa power ng bill validator natin and we also have pin 4 yung uh, ground for the bill validator so yung ground na to is connected dun sa 12 volts ground and this is the 12 volts uh, positive supply. So if we try and look at it closer, no. Kung papansin natin, we have here our 12 volt supply. So it e turn on natin siya. There. So nilagay natin 12 volts. Baliktad siya. Uh, Nakabaliktad kasi yung supply ko. Pero as you can see, it's 12 volts, no. So ngayon, uh, upon turning it on, yung supply, uh, since connected na tayo dun sa bill validator, so, mapapansin natin, nag-on. Nag-initialize yung bill validator. Actually, yung blink na yan means uh, it's ready to accept bills. So, if we look at the pin connections, I'm not sure if you can see, pero, as uh, no, if you, the red wire, that's supposed to be the wire connected to your optocoupler. The yellow wire, that is your ground, uh, 12 volts ground, which is, as you can see here, connected dun sa out negative. We also have the orange wire, which is connected to your pin 11. I'm not sure if you can see this, no? pero let's try. Yeah, there. So, nasa pin 11 siya. Yung, 11 yun is, yung orange wire is connected to your out positive, which is 12 volts yung nakalagay dito. Okay, so once na establish natin yung connection sa bill validator, punta naman tayo dun sa optocoupler. So, as you can see here, meron tayong isang red wire going to your breadboard so this is the optocoupler and this is what we're trying to follow this circuit here so as you can see uh, meron tayong 1k ohm resistor connected to pin 1 and then to the 12 volts supply and then we also have the pin 1 of the bill validator connected to your uh, pin number 2 sa optocoupler so let's go back to the optocoupler here so as you can see, pin 1 has a 1K ohm resistor and then we have a red wire from your 1K going to the 12 volts positive su supply just like dun sa diagram natin. And then, on the other end, the pin 2 ng optocoupler is connected to your pin 1 sa bill validator. There. And then, dun sa kabilang side, now we have the yellow wire connected to your uh, digital input and then we have the black wire which is ground of the Arduino connected to pin 3. Okay? There. So yun yung mga connections na kailangan natin gawin. So to test this, I've already made a code. So we just need to uh, plug the Arduino into the USB port. By the way, I will be including this code dun sa description and also sa description ng video, YouTube video, and also 
I will be including it dun sa page, uh, Elec Design Works page, under the technical description portion of the d device. Okay, so now, let's... There. So, it's... Open natin yung ating PC. Okay, so let's type in the password. So now we have here our Arduino IDE. So not that. So here, this is the code. Uh, I will be just like I said earlier. Uh, I post ko to together with the technical description and also uh, dun sa YouTube description. So now we try and it's all connected na. Let's turn on the serial monitor. Oh, it's already on. So let's try and look for it. Ah, there it is. There. So ngayon, i-off natin to and then let's restart natin. Okay. So begin count. So let's try and insert a 100 bill dun sa ating bill validator. Here. <coughs> So, as we can see here, okay, so may kita natin dito, nagka-count na siya. Up to 100. And so, if you insert uh, other denominations ng bills, uh, ika-count niya according kung ano yung nilagay mo. Like, for example, you inserted 20 pesos. Uh, ilalagay niya din as pulses. I, I mean, isa-send niya sa Arduino as pulses is 20. So, ganun yung operation ng ating bill validator. So, and that's it. And I hope na mapagano nyo na yung sa inyo. Thank you.